Hey guys, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone DLC. We've just finished the freakiest part of the game, I think, uh, with Aris and Old Gerd in the Painted World. Uh, and we ended up taking Iris's rose, which Old Gerd requested for. And then Gaunta appeared at the bar when we were expecting Old Gerd. And after that encounter, it really does seem like Gaunta is the evil bad guy in all of this behind um, the tragedy of Iris and her and Olgerd's marriage and it seems like yeah Gaunter's just not looking very good at the moment uh, it seems like he's the cause of all the tragedy in Olgerd's life so now we're gonna continue on with this main story so doing the quest whatsoever a man soweth uh, and it says that we've got to go talk to Shani, so let's see what happens then. Let's go. Shani! Shani. Oh, Geralt. Our lover. Good thing you're here. I love it when this music starts playing. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. Ah. Oh, where are you when, going? When, where to? Not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... Where are you off to, girl? Why are you running away? I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin bound. So sudden. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn him down. Just say no. Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Do we say don't go? Oh, it'll be selfish for us to say don't go. I'll, I'll just, I'll just say reconsider it. Reconsider and stay. That's what Girl, Geralt wants. What for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. Aww. So, learn anything about Old Geard? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, mm. where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters, Mage why are Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty patch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the Professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Hmm. Yeah. Need to talk to this professor. Need to see him. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Hmm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend, get inside free and easy. Sounds like the professor's hiding some black magic. Some so secret black the magic. These days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Geralt, where do you think you're going? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind. So the Eastern Front, and then? 
Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. What? Ah, oh, seems like Shani's life. If she's going to continue doing her current job, she'll never find a man to settle down with if that's what she really wants. Hmm. Hello. Hey, it's that Votes guy again. By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <coughs> Bruno? Hey? Guilt trip. Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Come on, guys. Give in. All right. Well, alone. Ah. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. <laughs> How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right, let me in. Still breaking the rules, even though you try to stop me. So let's go around the back. So, we've got to swim our way through. Ooh, treasure chest, hello. Ooh! Geralt! Psst! Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line! Took you a while? Where'd you get the rope? Long story, but we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. Oh! No. Right. Be seeing you. <laughs> One last time, Geralt, before she goes off for real. So we gotta break our way in. Hi! See what the professor oh, has to say. Way, ah. You leave a window open, maybe. Leave a window open. Uh, maybe climb up here. Ah. Uh, leave. Did he leave a window open somewhere? Go up there somehow. Hide oh, the ladder. It is handy to break into someone's house. Very handy to break into someone's house. <laughs> like it's made for it. Hard. Oh shit! <laughs> Gave me a fright. Gave myself a fright. didn't expect it to be so loud. That busting into the... through the doors. Oh man, the professor must be up to some real scary black magic shit, eh? I'm not looking forward to this. Oh man, and the creaking sounds? Come on. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. 
Someone look in it and scream. Uh, scary. I don't know. I'm just looting all these books. Might be useful. Man, this is place is a mess. Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shall be eating today. You can't Professor see. Who the blazes? How do you get in? Get out! I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent he's you. He's blind. I'm sure of it. Yeah, he looks like he's someone. Looks like he's what summoning demon? something because there's a circle on the floor. Please, you know, Gaunter Old Dim, evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. A mutant. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, what's up there? Could be. Yeah. Why is he standing in the middle of the circle? Your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Can we talk? Because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I need not fear. I'm hardly a post conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? Ah, uh, he's running away. I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed a coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters he? dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind, yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on packs of. Oh man, out. what's happening? What's going to happen? Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness mm. is that what old geared got into what else do you know, know? anything else about the man gaunter odim is no man he is evil evil which assumes various forms forget about him or die you're alive alive yet i live in constant fear born of what i've learned about him Magic circle on the floor. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do so you he know? just stays in that Told circle the whole time. Paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. Scary. He the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving it. Man, that's scary. Just talking to him one-on-one -on -one like that. Oh, Gerd, make one of these pacts with him. Oh, Gerd, sign one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know his fortune soured? 
He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant. Oh no. His name. That was. Master Mirror. The doom. The rest follows naturally. Olgierd and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgierd was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgierd loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother. Oh, Olgierd. really? Wait. Olgierd chose. And soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. Oh. Vladimir, was that Olgierd's doing? So did the Olgierd hell? kill his own brother? No. Oh, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgierd merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Man, shit. Olgierd knew, eh? Olgierd tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Olgierd wants to break Why his back. Why was geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings yeah. for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any uh... of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Old Dim at his own game. Meaning? How? Old Dim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. How can I get Odin rid of this mark? left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless... Unless it will he did disappear mention that, yeah. once your pact is fulfilled. Once the if pact I is challenge done. him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks for your help. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. Oh. Oh, no, 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 he went out of the circle for a sec. Did that... Sh... No, no, no. That Gaunt is doing, eh? That is Gaunt is doing. Is it because he stood out of the circle for a second, or is it because he was sharing all that info? Maybe because he was sharing all that info about, about Gaunt to us, and... He decided to kill him. Professor Shakeslock. The circle Odim create to terrifies. Oh, circle Odim create terrifies me. I cannot see it, but I know it is here. I know no name for the scent with which I perceive it. When I near it, bounds. It's bounds. Strange shivers shoot down my spine. This is not pain. It's something that stands by my stands by here on edge like a hedgehog's quiver. A month has passed and still I stay within the runic circle. Nightmares prey on me more and more. I've come to fear sleep. I know not how long I can withstand this. I dreamt I had a daughter. This was strange. For I've never had children, yet one came to me in my sleep. 
She was no older than ten. She called me daddy and loved me deeply. I could see it in her eyes. The strangest part of all was that I was burned with, for her. I was also burned for her with a great paternal love. Can one possibly dream of someone who does not exist? Can one love such a one? I no longer fear sleep. Perhaps Odim had decided to give me peace. I'd have no desire to change his mind. My dreams of Emily gave me great joy. My daughter is a good and clever girl. I believe she will grow into a wonderful woman. A shame that she exists only in my dreams. Not only do I no longer fear sleep, but now I cannot wait for the moment in which it comes. What a fantastic transformation. If nothing changes, I shall soon try to leave the circle. I know now why I dreamt for weeks of a child I never had. It was his doing. This night my daughter died. She caught a strange illness which pocked her whole body with hideous oozing sores. She cried, begging me to help. I could do nothing. She died in my arms. I awoke soaked with sweat. I remained a wreck. My mind tattered. Yeah, that's so bad. Three months have passed since Emily's death. My heart still bleeds and horrifying visions plague my every moment. I'm a blind man who wishes he saw nothing, for utter blindness would be a relief compared to these tormenting visions. I cannot persevere much longer. I have become a deeply unhappy old man. I have now lived within the magic circle for a year. Thoughts of suicide haunt my mind ever more often. It would be so simple, but I need but I need but step outside the runes. So I guess his death was good for him. He was suffering so much. But very sad what's happened. What's up here? Go through this way. Okay. Where is this where Olget is? Why is Olget in such a dark, gloomy place? I don't know, when I was picturing temple, I was picturing some place really vibrant. Ah! Alright, oh yeah, must be. Oh yeah, this is the temple. Oh man. Oh yeah, the truth comes out. But it wasn't his fault, it wasn't Old Gear's fault. He just didn't know that Gaunter would take advantage of his wish like that. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Mm, not my choice. This place is as good as any. A place like any other could easily have met somewhere else. Yet we've met here. And something tells me that's not purely coincidental. Nope. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Yeah, I want to, I want to give him the Fulfilled painting. The third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt market an hour ago. Look closely at it. But I also want to give him the painting. Can we? Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? It's a token of her love for you. This rose, ah, uh, I'll say that. I don't know. I think they were all. I think she loved you. All Maybe good this answers. This is a token of that love. She loved me. After all that's passed, Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What's happening? Oh. It's going to here. As though, as though a hot iron's pierced my chest. Oh god, wait. Dude, is he okay? Wait, is he gonna transform into something? Wait, is he gonna transform into Sorry a werewolf? Kept you waiting. Oh no. I thought he was gonna transform into a werewolf because there was a. So they showed the moon earlier. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less trouble? Lighter in the heart? Or Dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. 
You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Oh. So we wow. fulfilled the three wishes. What do you know? On behalf of Gunter. Oh my god. We've caused what? all this. No. We we had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished. Oh for. my god. Here, on the moon. Our contract you fulfilled. Awesome. You cheated. Playing with the words again. Playing with those I words. Never cheat. Because technically it is the truth. Help our gear. Of course. Wait. Of course, we're gonna help you again. Interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. Man, I really wonder what Gunter's you real. Wish to give your soul for his. Uh, no, but we can what he really him. looks like. I lose, you take mine and all gears. But if I win, you release us both. What, what is his you true form? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. Play with words, is it? Oh, I'm not too good of words. But man, I really wonder what Gaunter's true form looks like, because... Because the man that we see now, that's just one of his many forms, right? <sighs> what's but what's happening? his true form? You wish to play, so let us play. No, is it another freaky place? I shall place? tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. Okay, fine. And if I don't? <laughs> <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? Okay. This is the thing that the professor the mentioned. Let me hear it. No, I hate riddles. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. What Cry am I? <laughs> and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed reflection? to be? Reflection? I don't tell know. Me, what am I? A reflection? Oh gosh, I hope there's no like countdown. Let's do this. Is it a You're reflection? Going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. What oh, is this down place? Here. <laughs> you like it? No. Plenty more where it came from. Just remember. You must find me before time runs out. Ah, oh, this place is creepy as. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I too shall grin. Mm, something that repeats all I do? Maybe an echo? Mm. Echo. No. no dice. You can't possibly ogle an echo. I just follow the red light. This Help! place is. Geralt, save me! No! No, run away. No. No, you are not talking to me, lady. Don't leave me here. No. Me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. No, shut up. Shut up. Oh, oh god. 
No, you are not Shani. You are not Shani. Fuck. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Okay, what is this? What? I'm not looting that. It's not going to lead to something good. Uh... Oh, awful. You're doing terribly. Oh god, that thing's vomiting. Okay. What is this? A family tomb. No. Nope. To all I appertain, by some am shunned and disdained. Could be family, I guess. Wouldn't match much else in the riddle, though. Repeat the riddle. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Must be something in the house, eh? And ogle me till you're oh insane. no, I don't like don't houses. No. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry, and I mirror. So this is where you're hiding. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> god. Oh my down. god. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? Fuck it's scary. I hate this place. Come on. Ooh. I'll still get you. So you <sighs> say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. Come on, Geralt. <laughs> Point for me. I'll still get you. So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. Gotta be some mirror here you won't shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Seek and ye shall find. On it. Can we fall down here? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> oh, I thought there'd be something down there. <laughs> what is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one forsaking? Ooh. Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me. Ah, shit. Right, there was some... Um, there's an exclamation, not exclamation, it's magnifying glass. There was water here once. Maybe there's a way to bring it back. Hmm. Rushing water behind ah. this wall. Break down the wall and the water will rush through here. Nice. This might be hard. And now we have our reflection, the water. Here we go. Scary. Ooh. Okay. Good. Oh shit, what's he saying? Is that his true face? Ooh. God, I thought he was going to do some sort of exorcist shit with his neck twitching and stuff. Uh, is that it? We don't need to fight him, right? Because that was his type of fight. That's just doing a riddle. So, Do we still have the scar or is it gone? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. 
This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. Oh, yeah, our scar is gone. So, how about it? Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? Yes. Why don't you tell me what it's like to have First a heart of stone? Like oh, I stone. get it now! <laughs> uh, oh, I get it now! I'm a bit slow. Stone. Hearts of stone. No, no angst. But also no concern. No care for anyone. Not even hmm. those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... Mm. Until I ceased to feel anything at all. So does he get his feelings back now? To be done with it. Or... Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? So he'll have his feelings again? Mira dragged me into a game. Oh, Dim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Mm. Well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Well, Mirror he can feel again. Everything, everything yeah. I loved. All I held dear. He didn't even love his wife anymore because of him. Oh, man. He Not thought... True. Got your heart back. Yeah. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is a ruin. Oh man, that's so sad. True, I don't envy you. Let's say that. Let's be encouraging. Situations. You'll figure this one out. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, mm. your fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what'll you do? I don't know. But one thing's clear. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Oh. Can't accept this. You can. And must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Oh! Sorry. Good one. Oh, it's called Iris. You needn't be. You can feel the pain. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. Aww. Wow, it's gorgeous. Oh! 
I didn't expect the ending to be so short, and I didn't expect to beat Gaunta so easily. But man, that is very sad how Olgerd can finally feel again, but now after everything that's happened, all he can feel is pain and grief. And man, that just goes to show like... Well, I guess he wasn't being greedy because he was wishing things that I think everyone should have the chance to feel or have a chance to be in that kind of situation. Just wanting a good life with the person you love. Um, but I guess, like the saying says, be careful what you wish for because, like in this case, Gaunter really took advantage of um, going through the loopholes of what was on the contract and causing all this chaos and tragedy for Olgerd and his life. So Olgerd's life would have actually been better before he made the wish. At least he still feels love for Iris. At least he... Um, at least Iris was still alive and their love was real and genuine but because of her slight selfishness of wanting a peaceful life with his lover which is fair enough man um, but because of that wish his life turned for the worse when it could have been better if he didn't make that choice. This DLC, not too many fights. I guess, I don't know, I was just expecting a, like a massive boss fight in the end with Gaunta. Um, and I was kind of afraid to uh, to get up to that point because Gaunta has just been made out to be this really evil being, really powerful. Um, so I was expecting to fight him after uh, fighting Aris' biggest fear. But yes, I really do hope that Olgerd can move on from this. He has to start a new, start a brand new life. Um, and yeah, it's just really tragic what happened to him and Aris. And yeah, by far the freakiest part of the game with Aris and her painted world and the mansion that she lived in all by herself, dying alone all by herself and she didn't get an answer in a way as to why old Gerd um, acted the way he acted um, after playing around with the black magic. So yeah, I think Iris didn't get any answers at all. You guys are right, I actually, I think I did in Oh, I don't know. The main storyline was really good as well. Um, but no, this one was really short, but really great. Especially the second half of it, um, when we were getting into Iris' story. That really made me feel really sad and grossed out at the same time. Now on to the next part. I think what I want to do is... Uh, craft the viper gear i don't know if it's better than what i'm currently doing uh, currently wearing i mean but uh is a higher level gear so i want to craft that and use that uh, but i wonder if it's good for my type of combat style since i'm just mainly using the sword and quinn um but i i, I want to try use more oils so i need to craft more oils as well and then after that, after the gear, the upgrade in my gear, I want to start Blood of Wine. So definitely looking looking forward to Blood of Wine as well. And maybe I'll also look at some of the side quests that I missed out. I hope you guys enjoyed this ending with me um, on this DLC. And let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this part of the game and give this bit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it 
And yeah, I'll see you in Blood of Wine, guys. See you later. Bye.